Welcome to this week's edition of the RegTech Africa News Roundup. And here are the top headlines for the week. NITDA NIMSI partner to advance Nigeria's digital infrastructure. SEC tightens controls to prevent illicit funds in banking recapitalization. FG organizes workshop on national artificial intelligence strategy. On the African scene, BOG governor calls for enhanced global debt relief efforts. Binance collaborates with Banker X to advance fintech inclusion in Africa. In the world scene, Bank of Israel official advocates for healthy CBDC competition with commercial banks, and the centralized digital identity gains momentum across industries. Now the news in details. The National Information Technology Development Agency, NITDA, and the National Identity Management Commission, NIMSI, have joined forces to enhance Nigeria's digital framework, focusing on the integration of public key infrastructure, PKI, and digital public infrastructure, DPI. The collaboration aims to unify digital identity, streamline the payment ecosystem, and facilitate efficient data exchange across the country. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, is taking significant steps to prevent the infusion of illicit funds into the capital market amid the ongoing bank recapitalization. The Executive Director Operations of the Commission, Dayo Bisson, expressed a positive stance on the recapitalization initiative, highlighting the SEC's commitment to collaborating with stakeholders to ensure a smooth and successful process. As part of efforts to align and implement the priority area of the present administration's renewed hope agenda of accelerating diversification through industrialization, digitization, creative art, manufacturing and innovation, the Federal Ministry of Communication, Innovation and Digital Economy has organized a workshop that will co-create a national artificial intelligence strategy which will leverage human-centered design approach to formulate a strategy that focuses on the needs of not only Nigeria but of the world in general. Let's go for a short break and when we come back, the news continues. Welcome to the 2024 RegTech Africa Conference on Awards. Happening in the city of Lagos, Nigeria, on the 23rd and 24th of May 2024. This event promises two days of unparalleled insights and interaction. Theme Harnessing Partnerships for Africa's Prosperity, Bridging the Data Trust Gap, 50 plus speakers, 1000 plus participants. Join us as we empower women in red tech and captivating roundtable discussions. Calling all C-level executives, regulators, policymakers, investors, and key industry stakeholders. This is your platform to drive innovation and regulatory excellence. Register now and be part of this transformative experience at the 2024 RegTech Africa Conference on Awards. Engage. Connect. Collaborate. See you there. Now in African news, the governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, has advocated for significant announcement to the G20 Common Framework for Debt Relief, emphasizing the importance of the Global Sovereign Debt Roundtable in achieving rapid, transparent and equitable debt resolutions. The Global Sovereign Debt Roundtable aims to foster a deeper mutual understanding among stakeholders involved in debt restructurings and proposing effective solutions. Binance, a leading cryptocurrency exchange platform, has forged a partnership with Banker X, a media and technology company specializing in disruptive fintech and edtech solutions to drive financial technology fintech inclusion across Africa. In the world news, the Deputy Governor of the Bank of Israel, Andrew Eber, has expressed a supportive stance towards the competition between central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, and commercial banks, as revealed in a recent speech posted on the central bank's website. Andrew advocated for letting banks compete vigorously, suggesting that this dynamic could foster greater efficiency within the banking sector. The rise of decentralized digital identity, DDID, is becoming more pronounced as diverse industries recognize its potential to transform customer experiences. The travel and mobile sectors are at the forefront of these technological advancements, spurred by significant investment and strategic initiatives. 
And that's it, Arctic Africa News Roundup. Join us again next week for all other important news updates.